One of the most important questions if uh, you are working in the lighting industry as we are doing it for 111 years now at Trilux. So I really believe uh, light is natural. So um, the requirement on artificial light uh, for the future will increase once again dramatically. And it has to be our task um, and our job to make artificial light much more natural as it is today. So that's on what we are working at the moment, to have uh, the best combination between natural light and artificial light uh, in a much better manner as we have it today. And uh, because our task is to make light again after the LED transformation, that was a big step in the right direction, in my opinion, uh, much more sustainable because we all know the topic, why right? it's so important to become more sustainable. Um, but also it's our task to support well-being atmospheres in all workplaces, um, as good as it is possible, in my opinion. So light, to summarize it, so light has to be more natural. So artificial light has to be more natural in the future, but also more sustainable. And of course, to achieve that much more smart and intelligent. And if you look on, on Trilux, we believe where there is light, there is life. This is our vision. If you are talking about Hume centric lighting, it's, it's naturally that we have to focus on human beings. And human-centric lighting and our search or research in that direction, there's always the people, the human beings in focus of what we are doing. And to provide for human beings the right light at the right time, this is most important. And for these, we invest in research and also a lot in technologies. I personally believe that the biological effect behind is a very complex system. So if you really want to be successful with, with human-centric lighting solutions, we have to automize the control of life. It's too complex for the individual to control it manually. So we invest a lot in the right light cycle um, for the future. And how we could control it automatically and also how we combine the natural light with the artificial human centric light in combination with the natural light which come from outside in the rooms in the buildings we are just at the beginning and this is where where we are researching at the moment a lot and also try to find the right technology to improve that, uh, the right sensor technologies. The second field uh, where we are searching or, or where we are doing research um, is a very concrete and special uh, project here, which we are doing here in Germany. Um, it's called Licht und Schicht or in English Light and Shift. Um, in this uh, project, about 200 Trilux employees, employees participate in this study. And this study is taking place in our production facilities here in Arnsberg. And we equip the whole production facilities here in Arnsberg with an HCL lighting solution, of course, uh, with Trilux technology inside. And scientists from the Ruhr University in Bochum and also from other institutes are taking care of these studies. So it's a neutral study we implemented here. The goal is to improve the sleep, but also the general health of the employees and also the employee satisfaction through an improved um, light HCL profile, which we are searching for. After completion of the fourth final stage of the study, we are in this final stage at the moment, uh, the data will be evaluated and uh, also it's an official study we are doing published in a research report 
latest, I think, um, mid of next year. And I really believe this could be a breakthrough for HDL lighting, especially in the industry sector, um, for the next maybe decade. I think there are three main reasons why it's so a hot topic and so important also, um, not just for the light industry, also for all the people um, which are using light. First, of course, um, is the light lamp pen of all discharge lamps which are containing mercury from this year on. So um, these lamps will not be available in the future. So a lot of um, companies have really a big pressure to refurbish their life. So very easy argument why it's so important. Uh, but the second one is in my opinion still that LED technology is very efficient. So we as a lighting industry could uh, help to save up again up to 80-85% of energy and so also of CO2. And what is what is more important in these days is to save energy regarding cost, but also if we look on sustainability, what is really important um, for, for the Earth at the end of the day. And third one, of course, once again, is to improve light quality. I think there is really a chance now, if you refurbish your light system, do it in the right way. And that's what we are supporting our customers that they are doing the refurbishment in the right way. We want really to make it easy for the customers um, to refurbish their lamps. So we are able to help them to plan um, their new system. We have implemented uh, easy web tools to figure out on an easy way how they are able to replace an old luminaire and a new LED luminaire. Um, we have implemented some easy light calculation tools and light planning tools. Um, that's all this kind of stuff what we have invested in and implemented in to make this refurbishment process uh, in the next, I think, three, maybe up to five years, um, very, very easy for our clients. It's a street, so not it's a landscape. Uh, we are really in the city, so it's a big advantage for us that we are in the cities. And we have focused on to support these smart city activities, especially in the field of lighting. So we are standing for smart lighting, not for smart cities and supporting these initiatives through our lighting solutions. And also to give some infrastructure element in the cities because our luminaires and our poles, we use them and offer them also as an infrastructure element. For example, for IT components like sensors, like Wi-Fi, uh, like cameras and so on. And smart lighting means for us to connect these luminaires that they are easily to control from outside and much better are, are these solutions really if they are controlled automatically also so this is what we are pushing not just uh, maybe to save once again energy this is also very important in this topic but also to limit the light pollution i think most of you have heard from that it's this light pollution um to reduce the light pollution, it's, it's very important for human beings, but also for animals. So smart lighting helps also to reduce the light pollution because you are able to, to, to dim the lighting in the evening, in the night, um, just when nowhere is there, but also easily to rise it up again um, if some movements are detected and so on. So this is our way how we support smart cities initiatives. In the development, the idea was um, one fits for all at the end. So um, 
We want to develop a Luminaire, which you are able to install in the perfect manner in every application. That was the idea behind. And also, it is very, very sustainable. So we have taken care. It's one of our first products, which we have designed with a holistic, sustainable approach behind. It's produced in Europe. It's from highest efficiency. Um, we have a spare part concept behind and we have designed it. I think this is all, always very important if you are talking about sustainability. We have designed it for a long lifetime. And with a circular concept behind. So we have also thought about what happens after um, you will not use this luminaire anymore. So we are able to take it back to reuse it and also to recycle it. So I think very, very important or special is uh, the sustainability aspect behind. So you are able to uh, to use it in offices with UGR19, for example, but also it's perfect fits in car parking situations, in industry sectors, factories, logistic facilities. And right up, uh, it's also could you could use it as an outdoor luminaire because it's IP66 and standard, and uh, we could do it up to IP69R um, with a special option, for example. So that was the idea behind to create a flexible solution. So maybe there are some people outside who really want to have one design for their whole facility, for their whole building. So two graphics really for all these applications. And third topic is smart. We have developed a smart end cap. So uh, you, you could integrate IoT um, components like sensors, cameras, Wi-Fi, and all this kind of stuff uh, directly from the beginning with our smart end cap or also later on. It's just a click. If you are focused on the three most important topics um, today, uh, which we are working on, or also I am personally uh, working on, one is uh, refurbishment. The second topic we are working on is sustainability. As a company, I really believe we have a special social responsibility also. And we really want to live up to this responsibility as Trilux and also as the management team of Trilux. And this means that we have to push these topics in several areas and we have to do it now in, out of my point of view, not to wait, just to wait because it's too complex to do something. We are investing a lot at the moment in all areas of sustainability, on product side, on production side, uh, but also, of course, on marketing side and so on. And the third topic uh, is really, once again, also to improve um, the light quality in general. And as I mentioned at the beginning, I really believe that we could learn once again much more from nature. So the combination of nature light and artificial light and increase with these the general light quality for our customers, uh, for our partners, for our clients. Um, this is very important. And for this, we have for this we have implemented years ago also our own academy because it's not just a product. It's also how to plan light, how to install light, how to control light later on. Um, you are just with this combination of, of all these topics, you are really able to um, develop, uh, to install, uh, to plan a perfect light solution for the several applications.